Cheers, mate. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. 21 1. Wow. Quick, wasn't it? 21 1. Oh, mate. Unbelievable. What's the fastest heat swim you've ever seen for a 50 freestyle? Morning mm. heat swim. I'm, I'm Back thinking, in 09. I'm thinking 21 3 to 4, 21 3 to 4, something like that. But uh, 21 1, wasn't it? It just looks special, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I honestly, I told you I was watching on TV and I, I thought, I, I saw him accelerate on four strokes. It was like one, two, three, four, and he pulled half a bone length on everyone. By the time he got to the 35, I was legitimately sure he was going to break the world record. Yeah. He was moving and um, obviously he was just destroying everybody in the field. But uh, wow, what a swim, eh? Yeah, I saw him just after the race and, well, first of all, I stood next to his coach watching the race and Tim Lane sort of like gave him a little thumbs up little cheeky grin on his face because yeah. his boy had just gone 21-1 and, yeah. and Cam just signaled back that, you know, as if to say like, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer, mm. I'm close, mm. which he is. And um, it, I spoke to then Cam afterwards and he said a couple of things. He said, left hand on the breakout and I've got video footage and you can see it on the video footage. He's just catching a little bit of air and creating a bit of bubbles and missing that. So he missed the left breakout. And he said, he's using this opportunity while he's rested and in good shape to try out some different things in the heat so he's like it's a it's a tactic he's all out he's going all in he's not messing around but he's trying a new tactic right. while being all in and see if that's faster than other tactics and he said he was just imagining like he had an acceleration lever and he was just pushing it the whole way mm. which is exactly how you just described the race mm, yeah it really was you know on tv it looked like he got off quick off the block wasn't deadly underwater did enough to kind of come up with everybody. But once he's on top of the water, and, and I showed video of this on my Instagram a few days back where he was warming up mm -hmm. with a parachute and his whole, whole back was out of the water. Um, I mean, I've never seen anybody ha get their whole back out of the water. Usually there's a little bit of water on the lower back or maybe the shoulders a little bit getting catching yep. some water. I mean, fully exposed. A and then he sent me a photo. I told him about this, uh, this video that I put up and he was like, Brett, check this out. So he sends me a photo. He's got his whole back out, his butt out, and his leg is out of the water. I mean, it's just like his whole body was <laughs> elevated. So he's, he's obviously doing something that is on another level right now, which is freaky to watch. And, and it's kind of, I've been talking about this in terms of uh, Cam being ahead of where he was this time last year. You know, yeah. like he came in, experimented, and it was successful. The experimentation is kind of over now. Now he's, he knows what to do and, he, and he's applying it and swimming fast. Well, we're having this conversation as we've just pressed record on my camera. We've had this conversation all morning. Like we're talking amongst ourselves about, you know, how fast he's going to go tonight, how fast he's going to go tomorrow night. Because he's going to make the final. With it. We're not messing around. He's making the yeah. final. He's going to win the gold. And, you know, how fast he's going to go this year. And I sort of said to Brett, I think 20.6 is possible this year. Which, I mean, what was your reply? Because you said 0.4 is a a hell of a lot, really. Yeah, for some reason, I've just had 20.79 in my head. Um, I've, I've had that just kind of going around for a few months now. Uh, ever since I spent time with him in Australia, this 20.79 has just been popping up, flashing up in my face. And and look, I don't know if he's... And, and, and we talked about this too, of like the difference between 20.7 and 20.1 is still... Huge. You know, we're still talking about a full body length on what he did this morning. So as fast as you thought he was this morning, we're talking about another body length on top of that. So that's, it's extraordinary. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna get there, um, but off, off a prelim swim, you know, going 21-1, I mean, you would have to think he's got, he's got a couple of tenths in him. You would have to think that, wouldn't you? I mean, the reality is if he'd gone 21-3 or 21-4 this morning, everyone's gonna be like, Cam's hot, Cam's gonna be in right. PB come the heat, the right. semis and the finals. We're not used to people being this good no. in a morning swim, which is why we're talking about this right off the bat and like, he was quick, all I know is in the 50 butterfly, he was quicker in the final than he was in the heats. You know, and if he does yeah. the same thing here, we're talking about a very serious time, a very serious performance. And, uh, and here's the thing that, the, the reason why we're talking about this performance so much is that Cam is doing something that no other human on earth is doing in terms of his training. Yep. He literally swims a thousand meters a week, 1000 meters a week, right? Now, you would get lost in, in thinking that that mattered in, in, in a sense, but what he's doing is he's swimming fast all the time in practice. He's suiting up, he's, he's at race pace, he's hitting, 
you know, he, he might do 50 starts a week off, off a block. I, I want to elaborate on that because when we're saying fast and race pace, this is 50 race pace or fast. Fast, it is, this is not me saying, oh, we're doing 825s fast or 45 mm. and you're going like, yeah, I'm going fast. No, no, this is maximal effort, yeah, like yeah. not 99.8%. This is 100% maximal effort and it is race pace of world record pace. Yeah, no, Cam's like, going nine fours, nine fives in practice. Electronic timing. Lit literally nine fours yeah. in practice. Practice, right? To the hand, 25, yeah. electronic time. Not a fast watch, because- Meters. Meters, not yards. Meters, not yards, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he is at, he's at literal world record race pace in practice, and, he, and he's doing it over and over again. And so again, this just goes back to saying, he's doing something that no other human on earth is doing. And we're talking Ben Proud, we're talking the top, we're talking Flo Menadus, the, the, the best athletes in the world. None of them are doing exactly what Cam is doing. And, and so, like, I just, I need to reiterate, because if you're a coach or a swimmer watching this, you're going, yeah, we do race pace, or we do fast 25s. No, you don't. Like, if you're, if you're doing a 50, hundred warm up and then doing four fast 25s off the block where you just walk back and get back up on the block you're not he's putting a suit on he's yep. getting in the mindset he's got electronic time and he's taking 15 minutes be between efforts like I mean you can't just get out of a 1500 warm up go to the block and do a 25 all out you can't yeah. it's, it's not you, you're not in the headspace you're not in the physical preparation stage it's it's very different and and so what we're seeing now is is automatic swims it's just close your eyes automatic automatic you know, Cam's talking about a swim this morning where he, he messes up his left hand slightly. I mean, that's, that's how minute details that he's working on. You know, he can pick up exactly when something isn't exactly right. So, I mean, it's just a whole nother level of sprinting. And, and specificity. It, uh, specificity, you know? it goes back to kind of track methodology. You know, some of the top sprinters in the world, Usain Bolt, those types of people. The specificity of the training is, is just uh, sprinting at top end speed often and, and doing it well. I, I made a video where I analyzed Caleb Dressel's tapered 53s each year and he's been 21-0, so quicker than Cam went this morning on three occasions. The first was 2019, World Championships in Guangzhou, where he, he took 33 strokes. The second time he went 21-0 was Olympic Trials 21. He went 21.04, identical time, but with three extra strokes, 36 strokes. And then at the Olympics, he went 21.07 with 38 strokes. That's someone who is not figuring out the event. And look, Caleb Dress was super talented, and clearly he's the most athletic human we've ever had in the sport. He's one of the most ta talented swimmers we've ever had in the sport. And he's, he's a great, great swimmer. And he has a very, like a huge variety of events he swims. But to have a range of five, five strokes in your three fastest 50 freestyles. Yeah. I'm going back to what you said about Cam, where he's thinking about just one element of this race. Yeah. He's, not, he's not doing more or less strokes each race. Mm. He's not, it's, 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 it's nailed in because he's doing the same thing again mm. and again and again mm. in practice. Mm. And that's why he's created the separation. I've, at this meet, there has not been a single race where we've had separation from one swimmer to the other, like there was this morning right, in the 50 right, freestyle right. heats. Yeah. And, and this is very important, going back to the volume thing, right? The volume in, in swimming. Cam is doing volume of work that relates specifically to what he's trying to do today in the pool, right? Swim as fast as he can from one end to the other. He's doing volume of work in that arena. He's not doing volumes of work that don't pertain to swimming fast. Everything he does is related to maximal top end speed. He's in the gym, he's doing uh, you know, r rock climbing, he's doing um, mobility work, flexibility work, he's taking care of his nutrition. I mean, all of this is considered volume of work that you put into being the, the fastest swimmer in the world. That's volume of work. And, and that's the type of volume that, that Cam focuses on, not the volume that we uh, typically Which associate meters, with swimming. Yeah, yards, meters. Just yards. You know, like, How that's far that's do you the swim? only metric we've ever used for volume is, is hours in the pool or, right. or yards you, you, right. you achieve in a week or, right. a, week or a session time frame. Right, yeah, uh, astonishing. And look, um, uh, the, the, the female flip side of that, if we're going to move on to another event here, Sarah Sostrom this morning, yeah. basically doing the same thing on the women's side. I mean, she won this 100 butterfly. 50 by, butterfly. Uh, sorry, 50 butterfly, correct, by, uh, you know, body length and a half. <laughs> you know, it was, it was the Cam McAvoy type swim in a 50 butterfly. She absolutely destroyed the field. I mean, it wasn't, it didn't even look like a world championship field. It looked like she was swimming against. And, a, and, but she's done this for a long time in a 50 fly. Just to put some numbers out there for you. There's only, she's the only woman in history to swim a 50 meter butterfly long course in under 25 seconds. Right. 
She's done it, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 times. She has the world record at 24-4. So not only is she, she's the quick in history by over 0.6. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. 24-4 mm-hmm. might medal at this meet in the 50 freestyle. It will right. definitely yeah. final. Yeah. Right, and right. she can do that butterfly. That's right. absurd. Yeah. So yeah, we're seeing separation on the men's side in the 53, and again on the women's side in the 50 butterfly with Sarah. And Sarah, Sarah um, just came here to swim in 50s, like yep. Cam as well. Yep. So she's, she's same got events. her focus. Same events, 53, 50, 50 fly, yep. exactly she's, the same. She's got her focus in the same spot that Cam is. Yep. Now, she's not doing exactly the same work as Cam, don't get me wrong there, but her focus is swimming as fast as she possibly can. And that's where I'm seeing sprinting going. You know, we talk about the sprint revolution, and the revolution itself is going to be the specificity of the training and the mindset to swim certain events. You're going to see separation. I keep saying this over and over again. Listen to me. In the next 10 years, you're going to have 50 swimmers, 100 swimmers, and 200 swimmers. That is going to happen in 10 years. We will see that 100%. There'll be separation between oh, well, these. We're seeing it on the men's side. The men's side, we're really already starting to see it. Yeah. I think it's going to take a little longer for the women's side. Right. And we, we have more uber talented athletes like think we've not had a, a guy outside of maybe like Marshawn who can swim that middle distance stuff like all of it but mm. on the women's side we have people that, like Kate Douglas who can do 53 all the way up to like a 200 breaststroke but we're yeah. not having that on the men's side there's no, no. one in the no. you know and like but, but I think you're, what Brett's saying is in 10 years people will just be oh you're a 53 guy or you're a 100 free guy right. you yeah. know you'll be a specialist yeah for sure now there might be some overlap here and there but of course generally the majority of the people swimming those events will be specialists in those events. Yeah, for sure. So let's just, I'm going to wrap this video up. We can do another one about predictions for tonight. This is a 50 freestyle sprint talk because this is 10 minutes already. So yeah. I'm going to upload this as it is. I think this is a good video, yeah. but let's, let's finish with one prediction. 50 freestyle tonight and tomorrow night. Where, where are you saying? I want medalists in the final and I want times in semi and final from Cam. Uh, well, let's start with tonight um, in terms of what I've been saying all along. Look, Cam is ahead of where he's been uh, previous, right? He's just ahead of it. And in, in, in when you do the math on that, it puts Cam in the 20-point range tonight. It, it really does. He's going to be in the 20-point range tonight. Is he going to break the world record? That's that's another question, right? It's it's fast. The world record's fast. The world record's been there since 2009 for a reason. It's really quick. But Cam is um, as close as he's ever come. He's in the form. Um, I'm going to say Cam goes 20.96 tonight, um, and then I'm going to put it down. I, I've said he's going to break the world record this year. I'm going to put it down to this year because he's in form right now. So I'm going to say tonight or tomorrow night, the world record is going to go. Um, he won't break it twice. He'll only do it once. It'll either be tonight or tomorrow night, but he will break the world record in the next two swims. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, ho. Well, there we go. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to go 21 0 tonight and 20.9 tomorrow night. Right. Whether or not that's the world record, I don't know. It might be 9 0, it might be 9 5. But 20, uh, he's going to drop 0. 0.1 each round. And podium, I'm saying Ben Proud second and Bukov from Ukraine in third. Yeah, I, I, it's hard to argue with that. Bukov looked really good this morning for him. You know, 21 5 is a good swim in the morning for sure. He looked great. Um, it's different when you're up next to a guy that's going 21 flat. Um, all of a sudden you're eating their feet and you're panicking. So we'll, we'll see how that affects those guys. I don't see the medalists um, being under 21.3. Uh, you know, the, the second second place will not go under 21.3. No, I can no. see 21.5 for silver and bronze. Yeah. I think Bukov's time this morning will get on the podium 100%. Yeah, uh, for sure, yeah. I, I could see it being a 21.5 uh, silver and bronze here, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. Cheers, guys. There we go. We talked sprinting for a bit. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Like if you did. Subscribe. Comment. Check out, check out Inside of Brett Hawk on YouTube. HawkBR on Instagram. SprintRevolution.com. Is that, is that what you got? Sprint BrettHawk.com. Yeah, SprintRevolution.com. Yeah, check it out. But anyway, listen, comment here. We want to hear what you have to say about this as well. Yeah. We're fascinated. Hopefully you are too. So get some comments on this one. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, let's just do two.